So the first step in doing the butter knife is to take the pattern, this is just the pattern, and lay it on top of the blank for the, for the butter knife, and then carefully hold it down and carefully trace around the outline of the pattern. Move it a little bit, so I'm going to move it back and do it carefully. Take your time with this. Okay, and it should look like that. If you make a mistake, we can either do it on the other side or we can sand that off and do it again. But we want to get a nice outline of the pattern on there before we continue. So the next step in making the butter knife is we need to spoke shave, use the spoke shave to outline or to, to move, remove all the material down to the outline of our pattern. And to do that, we have to cut in a certain way. And what I mean by that is when you cut on the, and I always tell students when you cut, you want to cut downhill because, the, because of the direction of the grain. So downhill, say let's just look at this side, right? This, biggest part right here. This is the top of the hill right here. You see? And you're gonna go, you go down this way and down that way. So what that would look like is I would take the spoke shave here and from the top of the hill I would cut this way. The blade's right here so I'm cutting downhill this way. And if I did the other side, starting at the top of the hill, I would cut downhill this way. Now you notice I've got a lot more to take off here, from here down to here, and a lot more to take off from here down to here. So I'd start there and kind of work my way back up, but I'm generally I'm going downhill, All right? Downhill, downhill. And the same thing, even though it's not as big a hill, would be here. And then on the other side, here and here. So I'll show you what that's going to actually look like. I put the butter knife blank into the vise and I've darkened it in so you can see a little, I colored in a little more so you can see it in the video. Uh, but a, pen, uh, a regular pencil is fine to mark it with. You'll be able to see it when you're working on it. So again, uh, when, you, the, when you're shaping it with the spoke shape, it's going to look like this. Remember we talked about the top of the hill. We want to cut downhill and downhill. So I have more to take off here, so I'm going to start where I have more to take off. And I'm going to start spoke shaving, and on this this is the downhill direction. So from here, this way is downhill. So I'm going to start cutting. Oops. Adjust this a little more, and you'll notice I'm starting to start take material off. I'm working my way back up. I do not want to do not cut this way. What happens? You can see it starts to get tear out because we're not going downhill. So I want to make sure I'm going downhill. Now another thing that will happen when you're doing this, if you're if you're pressing too hard, it's going to move. You don't want to press that hard. You're just kind of using the weight of the spoke shave to do the work. Pressing just a very little bit. Now, I don't like to work it all at once. I'll do a little bit here and then I'll change it up and I'll come down here and do this go this way. And also here. So I can try and watch the line. You need to watch your line where you're going to and just keep on keep on going until you get to the line. Now on this you probably won't get all the way to the bottom of this um, line here just because of this is flat and this is a pretty good sized curve. But you can get pretty close. And we can sand it the rest of the way. But you want to keep just working downhill. So I'm starting, here's the top of the hill. So I don't want to work uphill. I want to work downhill. And then I want to work downhill this way. And downhill this way. And you're just going to continue on until you get down to the to the line for the outline. That's the first step in making the butter knife.